When can we expect the case study of Vanitas Season 3, if it ever happens? That's the question on everyone's mind. Let's delve into the realm of possibilities and explore the factors that could influence the return of this beloved series. The popularity of the previous seasons is undeniably a driving force. The reception of the anime by fans far and wide has been overwhelmingly positive, sparking lively discussions and fan theories across various platforms. Then there's the continuation of the manga, which provides ample material for future episodes. However, we must also consider the economic feasibility for the producers. The anime industry is a high-stakes game, where the production of a new season relies heavily on the success of its predecessors. A significant dip in viewership or merchandise sales could spell the end for our favorite series. But ultimately the fate of the case study of Vanita Season 3 lies in the hands of the creators. The case study of Vanitas anime and manga, two different mediums yet similar but how different or similar are they? Let's start with the plot. The anime and manga versions of the case study of Vanitas share the same storyline, but the way they are presented differs. The manga is darker, more detailed and tends to delve deeper into the psychological aspects of the characters. The anime on the other hand takes a more streamlined approach, focusing on the main plot points while maintaining a balance of humor and action. Moving on to the characters. Both versions showcase the same set of characters however, their development varies. In the manga, we see a slow and steady evolution of characters that allows for a deeper connection. On the contrary, the anime version, due to its limited episodes, accelerates character development, sometimes at the cost of depth. Now let's talk about the art style. The manga's art is intricate and detailed, reflecting the gothic horror and steampunk aesthetics of the story. The anime, while maintaining the same aesthetics, simplifies the art for animation's sake, yet, it manages to capture the essence of the manga creating a visually stunning spectacle. The pacing is another aspect where the two mediums diverge. The manga has the luxury of time allowing the story to unfold at a comfortable pace. The anime, constrained by its episodic nature, moves faster, condensing the plot without losing its essence. Finally, the overall reception. Both the anime and manga versions of the case study of Vanitas have been well received. The manga has a dedicated fan base that appreciates its depth and complexity, while the anime has attracted a broader audience due to its accessibility and visual appeal. In conclusion, while the anime adaptation has simplified certain elements for broader appeal, it hasn't taken away from the original manga, instead, it's brought the story to a wider audience, maintaining the essence of the original work. Regardless of the medium, the case study of Vanitas, continues to captivate its audience with its unique blend of gothic horror and steampunk aesthetics. To sum it all up, the fate of the case study of Vanitas Season 3 is still shrouded in mystery. Throughout this discussion, we've delved into the uncertainties surrounding its release, the stark contrasts between the anime and manga adaptations, and the various factors that could sway the series' return. In the world of anime, renewal isn't always a guarantee. This holds true for the case study of Vanitas as well. The anime and manga versions, while both captivating, present their own unique narratives. This divergence could influence the decision for a third season. Moreover, while some signs might point towards cancellation, we should remember that the final decision rests in the hands of the creators. They're the ones steering the ship, and we're just along for the ride. Whether we will get to see the case study of Vanitas Season 3 or not, one thing is certain. The story has left a significant mark on its audience, and its legacy will continue to live on in the hearts of its fans.